Can anyone tell me what 2 times 9 is? 18. That is correct, Jenna. Now that we did enough 2 times tables together, let's... Cut the bullshit and don't do any more math for one day. Rosa Gonzalez, how dare you interrupt me while I'm addressing the class. By the way, what did you just say to me? Cut the bullshit and don't do any more math for one day. That is foul language, and you are very naughty to use it at school. Naughty girl. Mrs. Denner, I'm not being naughty. That is also very naughty. You do not tell fibs at school as well. I don't fucking lie. You're lying to me right now, and you're ever so naughty of doing so. And also, watch your language. You naughty shit. You do not speak to me like that. Oh you naughty girl. How dare you speak to me like that, and then use foul language again. Watch. Your. Language. Perhaps you need to take a bloody shit. If I have to tell you about your language again, you will get your bottom smacked and then get sent to the office. Get my bottom smacked for swearing? There's a laugh. Stop being naughty this minute. No I'm not. Don't be skeptical, Rosa. You are being naughty. You'll also get your bottom smacked if you tell fibs again. Why are you being such a fraggled wit? That does it. I warned you about that language. Stand up, right now. No. Don't disobey me, Rosa. Stand up, now. How dare you say such a disgusting thing to my face. Ow. That fucking hurt, bitch. You jolly well deserved it. Go to the office, now. What for? I warned you that if you used foul language or telling lies again you would not only get a smacked bum, but you will get sent to the office as well. Don't you dare start crying like a baby. Office, now. I'll see you after math class. Now that naughty girl is out of there, as I was saying. I think we should do some three times tables now. Rosa Gonzalez, this is the third time that you have been sent in here. Why are you crying? Mrs. Danner smacked my bottom. And, why did she do that, I wonder? Were you being naughty in class again? No. Don't you dare lie to Mrs. Kennedy like that, Rosa. You know very well that you have been swearing and telling fibs back in my classroom. That's why I smacked your bottom. Swearing and telling fibs. Is that why you smacked Rose's bottom, Carla? Yes, Rochelle. She was very naughty of doing so. Let me get this straight, Rosa, you came in here for the third time, saying that Mrs. Dana smacked your bottom back in class, and you lied to me about not being naughty again? Very naughty. How dare you think using foul language and telling fibs are appropriate here at school? Your mother will hear about this. Fuck that, Mrs. Kennedy. Rosa Gonzalez, you watch your language. You know very well that we don't allow swearing at school. It's completely without a doubt unacceptable. Your behavior is disgusting. You stupid. I beg your pardon? You stupid. Rosa. Gonzalez. How dare you say such an extremely naughty word to my face. That's really foul and completely inappropriate for an eight-year-old. If you say that word again, I'm calling your mother into dealing with you. Is it fuck? Is it shit? Is it wanker? Is it... Rosa, don't even think about it. You know which naughty word that you just said to Mrs. Kennedy. Oh, is it? That does it. I'm getting your mother into dealing with you, right now. How dare you say that naughty word into my face again. Stop crying, it isn't going to help it. But. No buts. You need to stop crying right now, you baby, or I should tell your mother that you need to stay in nappies. I can't stop crying because of Mrs. Danner smacking my bottom. Fine. I'm telling your mother that you're staying in nappies for acting like a baby. I'm calling your mother now, and I don't want to hear another word about it. 
Naughty girl. Hello, Natalia, this is Principal Rochelle Kennedy. There's something you must know. Yep, I'm afraid so. Rosa is being naughty here at school again. She used foul language, telling Phipps, saying an extremely naughty word into my face, and she was crying like a baby. She's crying like a baby because Mrs. Dana smacked her bottom for swearing and being a little fibber. She's in second grade, not nursery school. I suggest that you should put your naughty daughter in nappies for acting like a baby. I think that if she behaves like this again, she'll get expelled for good. Okay then. Meet me in my office when you come to pick Rosa up around 3 o'clock. She's in my office along with Mrs. Dana. Bye. Your mother is on her way to come and pick you up. I told her that she's gonna put you in nappies. Is that so? It's that behavior for acting like a baby. Young lady, I am fed up of being called in to deal with you and your naughty behavior. What have you done this time? Nothing. Don't, Don't you dare, dare lie to your, your mother, mother like that, like that you, you naughty girl. girl. You know very well that you have been swearing and telling fibs back at my classroom. And crying like a baby? Swearing, telling fibs, and crying like a baby. Oh, you are so naughty, Rosa. How dare you use foul language, telling fibs, crying like a baby and then lie to me about it. Mrs. Kennedy discussed this over the phone, and she told me that Mrs. Denner smacked your bottom for swearing and telling fibs. She also told me that you're staying in nappies for acting and crying like a baby. If you ever behave like this at school again, you're going to get expelled big time. Expelled? Yes. It's that kind of behavior that's going to keep you in nappies. In that case, let's go home, and we'll change your nappy, now. You are very naughty for crying like a baby at school. So you're staying in nappies until you learn to act your age. No whining or complaining about it. That's what you get for acting like a baby. Go to your room now, and you are now grounded for eight weeks. Stay there until I call you down for dinner. You've been extremely naughty. I better go and meet dinner now.